Hello everyone. I can't believe it's day four. I hope you had fun yesterday with our little surprise. But I'm so glad you've joined us today. Today, I don't know about you, but I love going to Christmas tree lots. We haven't necessarily had a fresh tree every year, but I remember when our children were little, we would go to the mountains and cut our own tree, or we'd go to a neighborhood little tree lot with all the Christmas lights. I just loved it. So it's on my bucket list. I want to work at a Christmas tree lot one day. So hopefully I'll get to do that. But the way things are going, there's not very many Christmas tree lots left. So I might just have to settle for making Christmas tree lot cards. So I hope you're excited today. We have two cards. And we're only going to make one version. And we're going to make a slight variation to the version, actually. But I just like to give you more ideas. So, oh, shoot. I dropped the card. But luckily, I have good technical support people. So we have our farm fresh, farm fresh Christmas trees um, with the dark background and with the light background. <clears throat> so before we get started I wanted to show you the supplies. We have new Christmas card cutouts number 87 and 86. Now they're the very same cutout just one is with the black background a chalkboard type fill and then a natural canvas. And then we're also going to use our Buffalo Plaid um, Baby's Breath our new Red Wagon Artsy Paper, our Holidays Blackbird Snowflakes, and then our envelope for this time. I love this combination. And look at the surprise. So when you open that envelope, let's see if I can open that. Look how cute. Let me open this one for you. I just double-sided that one shut, so I kind of ripped up, but you can see how cute that is on the inside. Okay, so let's put these things aside for the moment. What we're going to work on today is a combination of the two cards. I really like the red background here, and so I want to try giving, taking this and putting on to our baby's breath. <clears throat> so a little bit of a combination. And we're going to start then with our card cutout 87. <clears throat> and if you notice, this one has been scuffed just to soften the black a little bit, just give it a little more aged um, look. And what I wanted to tell you about too is I'm just using a little nail um, buffer to scuff the cards with. I think it works really nicely. But one thing you might do is you keep aside for a different color or dark colors or light colors. And so this is a dark color. I'm going to go ahead and use the side that I had used the green on before or maybe I'll just take this black one and I'm just going to rub ever so softly and you don't want a lot of things behind you like I wouldn't want to have like one time for experimenting we just sprinkled some salt on here and then scuffed and it left all of those little speckles from the salt so you can see that looks about right. So now I'm just going to cut this out. Now you, of course, could use your paper trimmer, but you know me by now. I'm just going to use my scissors. And it might not be totally perfect straight, but that's part of the fun of making cards. Things don't have to be perfect to be good and enjoyable and pretty. So I'm just... Cutting out a little bit on the outside, maybe an eighth or sixteenth of an inch on the outside white border. <clears throat> and <clears throat> now you could have scuffed it when I was already cut out. I forgot I had cut one out. So I'm just going to set that aside for now and we'll use the new one we've just scuffed. Push that stuff aside. And I want to use the mounting tape again. I really like mounting tape because of the dimension it gives a project. So you'll see, I use that quite often. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my biggest tree, put the mounting tape on it, 
put it right in the middle. And then the next three trees, it doesn't really matter which <clears throat> cider placement they have. But I do like them fairly close. But you could experiment and put them further apart as well if you like. So the envelopes are these patterns. And so I think that's what makes them match so cute. And I realize I got a lot of black on my hands. Okay. So you can see this card comes together super fast. Yeah, I think that looks cute. Now, <clears throat> what we have done on this card that we haven't done on the other card <coughs> is it has a little bit of a red border. So rather than using um, the gesso, the fresh gesso, I actually have the artsy paper here. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it. And for that, I'm just going to double side, use my double sided tape. But feel free to use whatever adhesive you have and what is your favorite. And then I'm just positioning that on here. So I have about equal distance from both sides. And then again, you could use your paper trimmer or you can. Sometimes I don't want to bother getting all the tools out. When you are cutting um, bigger pieces like this, I do prefer my bigger scissors. Just square up those edges just a little bit. <clears throat> so you can see we have that little piece all made. And now I am going to cut us a and remember that's just a half sheet of an eight and a half by eleven so I would just trim it at five and a half inches but look that looks cute too I really like how <clears throat> the little red makes it pop but if it's too bright for you you could also take some distressing ink and maybe a brown color or if you have a blackish color and just maybe soften some of this red a little bit just adding ever so slightly a little bit of distressing especially on this outside edge of the paper right along here it just really makes a difference when you um, add color to that. <clears throat> so that just helps soften the red a little bit if you want to try. <clears throat> I was using old paper um, and now I'm using forest moss I think it's called. It's a little bit darker. And I'm getting a little bit on the black too. It's just kind of finishing all of the edges off a little bit. So you can see how that looks. It's just softened the color a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to use my double sided tape. And I realize I've got dirty fingers. I got a little bit of stuff on my card. So I guess we've aged it as a little bit as well. But you know what? Nobody will ever even notice. You know now because I just told you. <clears throat> so again, we can now take and just embellish the inside of our card a little bit, which I just love. I think it's so fun to open up a card and see what's inside. Of course, the message is most important, but a little decoration goes a long ways and it makes there's less space to write on. So you don't have to write as much stuff. I am going to do the holly leaf with mounting tape. I love writing cards, but sometimes it is challenging or stops us because we think, oh, I don't know what to say. And you know what? Everybody just wants to know you're thinking about them. I don't think you have to worry about that. Just 
send a little message, tell them that you're thinking about them, and that means a lot. So don't worry about what you have to write in the card. Just sign your name if that's all. Just a little note thinking about you. So there you go. You can see how quickly we were able to <clears throat> dress up the inside of the card. And it looks so cute coordinating. So now you can see our three card. <clears throat> Our little three card combination and how different they each look um, but how fun and easy. I've got all little scraps of my mounting tape everywhere. So I am so help I so hope you've had fun visiting our Christmas tree farm today and can't wait to get together tomorrow. I know it's the last day of camp but it's gonna be fun so I can't wait to see you. Happy camping!